Are you looking for vintage British carriages for your Minecraft trains? Look no further, I've got a great selection. Today we are working on the carriage that every train needs. A combined luggage and brake van. To make a combined luggage brake van, you will need for the undercarriage 26 grey or brown terracotta, 4 pistons, 4 levers, 32 nether brick stairs, 16 hoppers, 20 dark oak slabs, 9 dark oak fence, 1 grindstone, 2 spruce slabs, 66 dark oak planks and 44 dark oak stairs. For the body of the carriage you will need 74 spruce trap doors, 82 dark oak trap doors, 4 birch trap doors, 4 birch doors. And for the roof, 44 smooth sandstone stairs and 132 and 132 smooth sandstone slabs. For the interior, you will need one spruce slab, five lanterns, one iron bar, one oak trap door, two chests, one brewing stand, 12 birch trap doors and 46 additional spruce trap doors. And of course, for the whole thing, waste blocks of your choice. Let's get started. Begin by placing your waste block on your rail. If you are building this at the end of a train, which you probably should, make sure that you place it so that there are two clear blocks between it and the extended buffer of the previous carriage. Now with your grey or brown terracotta, place one on top, get rid of the waste block, and then two, three. And now from this middle block, we're going to go back 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now one, two, three. Now for the buffers, grab a piston and put it on its side, either end of the terracotta bar and grab your levers. You can either place them underneath like that or on the sides. Just make sure whichever you do it's consistent and flick them open. And there's your buffers. I got those from Crafty Fox. There'll be a link in the description to his channel. Now go to the other end and do exactly the same thing. And now for couplings. At the front of the carriage, put a grindstone between your two levers. And at the back of the carriage, put a dark oak fence between the two levers. Wheels next. Start at either end, doesn't matter because it's the same both ways. You're going to leave a one block gap between your buffers and your wheel. So, right way up nether brick stair, upside down nether brick stair, and the same on the back. And there's a wheel. Leave a one block gap and repeat that. Come up the other end and do exactly the same thing. Now grab your hoppers and into the right way upstairs at the top of each wheel, you're going to put a hopper so that the funnels are pointing into the stairs. This space between the wheel and the buffer, you're going to put two dark oak fence one dark oak slab between your wheels and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dark oak slabs between the sets of wheels. And now finish the last two wheels exactly the same way. There we go. Now repeat all this on the other side. Now starting at either end of your undercarriage. On these three terracotta blocks, one, two, three dark oak planks, and now extend the planks all the way to the other end. And now upside down dark oak stairs right the way along both long sides. And now to finish off your undercarriage, at the back, directly above the fence, you're going to put one top half spruce slab, come down to the other end, and do the same thing over the grindstone. That's our undercarriage done. Let's make the ends. Doesn't matter which end you start on, it's going to be the same both ways. Begin by placing dark oak trapdoors either side of your spruce slab. They're going to place folded down, that's fine. It's because of the levers, just fold them up. 
Now place a waste block on either side on the undercarriage and place one, two, three, four spruce trapdoors. On top of those, on the outside, two dark oak trapdoors and on the inside, three dark oak trapdoors. Get rid of the waste blocks. Now take a birch door and place it on this first dark oak plank so that the hinges are facing towards the non-platform side of the carriage. On top, place a waste block. In front of that, a birch trap door at the top and on top of that, a dark oak trap door. Get rid of the waste block and fold all the trap doors up or down to make a wall and a fan light. There's your end wall. Do the same at the other end. Now for the walls. We're going to work on the platform side of the carriage first. Begin by placing waste blocks right the way along. Now grab spruce trap doors and place 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Leave a gap of one and continue with spruce trap doors all the way to the end. Get rid of the waste blocks. Now coming to the front end of the train, we're going to place four dark oak trap doors, another row of four on top, three spruce trap doors with a row on top, and five dark oak trap doors, and again with a row on top. Come to the other side of the gap, place two sets of dark oak trap doors, three sets of spruce trap doors, and four sets of dark oak trap doors. Fold them all up to form walls. Come to the gap and place a birch door so that the hinge is facing towards the front of the train. Place a waste block on top of it and a birch trap door at the top at the front. Fold it down to make a fan light. That's the platform side of the train. Come around to the other side, we'll work on the non-platform side. Start the same way, place waste blocks all the way along. Beginning at the front of the train, place eight spruce trap doors. Leave a gap of one and fill in trap doors all the way to the end. Come back to the front of the train and we're going to place one, two, three, four dark oak trap doors with a second row on top, three spruce trap doors with a second row on top and one more set of two dark oak trap doors. Now we're going to place six dark oak trap doors and a row on top, three spruce trap doors with a second row on top and four more sets of two dark oak trap doors. Fold them all up for walls again and of course get rid of waste blocks. Now place a birch door in the gap with the hinges towards the back of the train. Waste block on top, birch trap door for a fan light, get rid of waste block. And that's the non-platform side of the train. Now for the ceiling. Come to the inside of the train and at one end on any of these three dark oak trap doors place a smooth sandstone slab two more beside it and extend this all the way to the end of the carriage. Now you could do this with smooth sandstone blocks, that's fine. I just like the slabs because you go twice as far. Now run smooth sandstone stairs right along both sides of that. Place a waste block on top of any stair, put a smooth sandstone slab next to it and then fill in the whole top of the roof with smooth sandstone slabs and getting rid of the waste block. This has two effects. One, it gives the gentle curve of the roof that you really want for the profile for this carriage and two, it spawn proofs it. And now we have our carriage with the roof on, it's time for the insides. The insides are very simple. 
It's a luggage space and a little guards area. It's designed to carry seven tons of luggage, so we want plenty of space. We're gonna begin at the front end of the train. So come to the front and pick a side, doesn't matter which. We're gonna place one, two, three spruce trap doors and on top of it, another three. And I'm shift clicking so that I don't open these trap doors. Do the same on the opposite side. This makes two sets of hinge shelves. Now we're gonna to come to the door that's on the non-platform side and next to it on the front side, we're gonna place another little shelf. Now stand in front of this door, it's on the non-platform side of the train and looking towards the back of the train, place two spruce trap doors, place two more on top of the one that's closest to the wall and two birch trap doors on top of the other one. Fold them up to make a little wall. Now come across to the platform side, still in line with this door, and do exactly the same thing. We're making a little guards compartment in case you're wondering. Now stand with your back to the wall you've just made and two spruce trap doors two on top of the wall side and two birch trap doors on top of the inner one. Fold them up to make another wall. Do the same on the other side. And now inside this little compartment we've made one spruce trap door and two birch trap doors on top of it. Fold them up come along to the other one. This one is on the platform side of the carriage and do the same thing. Now we're gonna add the brake wheel. So this door goes out to the platform side of the train. We're gonna stand with our back to it. Facing towards the non-platform side of the train, we're gonna go out one, two blocks from the guards compartment and on this second one we're going to place an iron bar and on top of it an oak trap door which we just have to pretend is a round flywheel. Now next to that but against the wall we're going to place one two chests and in these back corners we're going to place two more sets of hinged shelves. Now let's go into our little guards compartments on the non-platform compartment, we're going to place an extra nether brick stair for a seat. And in the platform side one, we're going to place a top half spruce slab and on top of that, a brewing stand for making a cup of tea. All we've got to do now is add some lighting. So we'll start at the front of the train. We're going to come across one, two, three and hang a lantern. We're gonna hang a lantern in the middle in line with this door. Now in line with this door and in the middle, we're gonna go across one, two and a lantern on the third. And from the back, we're gonna come across one, two and a lantern on the third. And that is it. Plenty of space for luggage, nice little cozy space for the guard and the brake wheel. And that is our combined luggage brake van.